Hey, this is Nevin again with Disket. We're here in season 11 already, and we're going to do something that's going to slide right into a great recipe. So don't you dare go away. Hey, welcome back. We're here again with season 11. We've got Mr. Phil Apadaka. Hey, no, no, back you're doing. doing great, man. Something about a slide, slider recipe Speaking or something? Speaking about sliding back into the, <laughs> the season, we're going to do some uh, black tie sliders today. Black tie black sliders. Tie, you want to dress them up a little bit. You got football season starting now you know, or, or any kind. You know, nice. Just get these perfect little sliders with some mushrooms and some onions and some Swiss Shrooms, cheese. onions. Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese. Just I don't five, like cheese. Just six ingredients. Okay. It just... <laughs> Stay in, stay in school, okay? <laughs> Six ingredients. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's a pretty simple uh, recipe. It's just basically ground beef and, and the veggies, a little cheese, and, of course, the black tie seasoning. Oh, horrible. Yeah. I'm going to hate it, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> so you got a what? How much meat did you actually prepare already? This, this is probably uh, about a pound and a half of just regular ground beef. You don't, you don't want it too lean. You want a little bit of fat in there. That way the, the seasoning from the black tie... Uh, we keep rub. saying black tie. Black tie. What we have in there is oh, that's the that's the Phil's gourmet sauce. Black tie. That's black your tie okay. Rub. That's my duh. One of my, one of my good tellers. <laughs> right what it has in there, why I call it a black tie rub, is because of the uh, black truffle sea salt that's in there. That kind of black it. truffle sea salt. Sea salt. And oh man, you holding out on me? Yeah. Have a little taste. I'm mean, gonna have to hold that bottle if I like the stuff like I do. The other side. That's where it pours out. I know you like that. <laughs> the black tie. So what's in it, or whatever you can share that's in it? Okay, salt, pepper, garlic, black truffle sea salt, and seasoning. Mmm. Oh, and that's what's what's good about this rub is when you if you oh, go really? by, you do these, and you, if you let it set in there for a little bit because these have a little bit of fat in them. Mm -hmm. What that does, it just brings out a lot of the flavor from the rub. Nice. <laughs> that's pretty <laughs> damn good. So. And then you got the ground beef, the black tie seasoning, mushrooms, onions. I'm going to fire this thing up. And, oh, yeah. oh, I forgot to oh. mention the Swiss cheese. And we um, have some uh, slider rolls. Phil, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for about five years now. You know, I got all these rubs. I got a saber chicken rub. I got a fajita rub. Then I have five different sauces. You know, they're all on the website, philsgourmetsauces.com. And look out for next year. I got a new rub. Uh oh. Coming up, yeah. It's gonna be nice. <laughs> Don't forget the sauces. You got the pomegranate, the hot honey apple, honey apple. Honey apple. Traditional. Traditional. And the big lick chipotle. The big lick chipotle. Yeah, <laughs> favorite. How long is this gonna take to make? This will probably take about fifteen or twenty minutes. That's what's good about this. Because you can get the burgers cooking and you could cook it all in the same dish right here without it taking anything out. You'll start the burgers, flip them. And then you can pull them to the side and keep cooking them on the side. And then you start your mushrooms and your onions. Oh. And it all cooks in one thing. And then you get the rolls and kind of toast them on the side. Nice. We'll have to check it out. Well, well, before you go, because it's going to go pretty quick. While you start yep. putting those burgers on, we're going to go ahead and feature this week's Spotlight Disky. So this week's Spotlight Disc, we're going to feature a little bit more of our tabletop designs. Now, you know we have the full-size disket. we got the junior disket, and we got the tabletop RV model. So the uh, tabletop RV model is just a smaller set of legs. you got the same type of burner, wind ring, all that same stuff set up. will make any design you want. So uh, just like the regular disket, you can order the tabletop disket any way you want. Again, it's your story. We'll build it just for you. We're back in here. We got the Mr. Phil Apodaca. He's got sliders with his black tie seasoning. I see some mushrooms, some onions, some Swiss cheese, some sliders, and no beer. And no beer. Uh, oh, we'll fix we'll that. Have to work. <laughs> okay, so what I've done while we were on break there, I went ahead and seasoned just the top of these. Once we put them on, I'll put them on the seasoned side side down. Okay. And then we'll put a little bit more season on the top. Nice. And we'll start cooking. And of course, we're going to use some sauce too, right? And we can use some sauce. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get these guys cooking. Now the disc is on probably about medium heat, I guess. That's perfect. I'll let you put the seasoning on. Oh, you trust me with that? Not really, but. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> is it kind of like the cheese? Yeah. Now, Phil, I know you didn't get you a chance to try it. Pop the other side of that where it pours out just a little bit. I know you're going to like this seasoning. You already know me. Very you um, you didn't get a chance to try it, but at the seventh annual Disket Roundup, Little Nev used a flat skillet and made some amazing grilled cheese. And he used the fajita rub, not the, not the, uh, the black tie, but it's your, your rub. fajita rub. The, was it the, the, the lift up your, what Hike is it? Up your skirt. Hike up your skirt <laughs> fajita rub. Sorry, I always forget yeah. it. No, that's a anyway, great rub. I mean, <laughs> yeah, he 
thing is with that rub, it can go with tacos, it can go with fajitas, it can go with, you know, ground beef, or you, you're just making something a little southwest, some layer dip or something like that. And I guess it goes excellent on grilled yep. sandwiches now. Well, I'm going to have to get him and you together. You guys have to do that on the cooking show one of these days. But That's so cool because your product line, I and mean, you've got so many different sauces, rubs, there's so many different things you could do on it. Yeah, that's I've got thing. that spice coming into my throat yeah, as I'm breathing this in right now. Smell it as it's crisping up on the grill. A little bit of the grease will get down in there now here in a little bit. And those flavors start coming out. And that's the thing with a lot of these sauces and rubs is they're pretty versatile. You can use them on a lot of different meats. Mm -hmm. you know, you're not set on one particular thing when you use these. This, you know, it goes great on steak. They'll go great on these sliders. And, you know, maybe some, uh, we'll do some chili one day. Uh-oh. The only problem is you don't have these things in big enough cases for me. That's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> Where can you find your stuff in Albuquerque? I know right we have a lot of people. Right now we're at Sprouts and online. Okay. That's what? Disc-it.com? Oh, yeah. It's oh, no. Website. Phil's. Not, not a disc-it. <laughs> not a disc-it yet. Soon. Uh, at Sprouts and then at Phil'sGourmetSauces.com. And you also got Facebook? Um, on Facebook. I don't know how to use Twitter yet. <laughs> well, a lot of times I call it Twitter, so don't yeah, don't feel I, bad. I can work some social media. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of social media, a lot of you guys have seen uh, our videos are being shared all over the world, and some of you guys don't know exactly where they're hosted. Um, just by watching this video, you can actually go to our website and see the recipe that goes with it. So go to dish-it.com. You can either uh, do a forward slash blog or even click on cooking show. And then what's cool about it is you can just, there's a search feature. You can just search Phil's Gourmet Sauces. And Phil's been on, I don't know how many times over the years, or any of your favorite sauce guys. Or if you want to just search for beef or chicken or, or rub or whatever, just type that in and, uh, and it'll bring up a lot of these episodes. So, a lot, a lot of great episodes and some great food out there, yeah. Yeah, there's been, there's been a lot. We've probably got, I think season 11 and other videos combined, we're probably 170, 180 videos now. Um, and if you do also want to go check out some of the stuff through social media, check us out on Facebook, on Twitter, it's sometimes called Twitter, <laughs> but Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, um, we got some stuff selling Vimeo, Flickr, there's so many different avenues out there, but thanks everybody for sharing all that, check out these videos, check out Phil's awesome recipes uh, on our cooking show, and then check out his stuff as well. Make sure you buy it by the case. It's available by the case. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and flip these for a little bit. Nice. Get them cooking a little bit on the other side. No, the way that seasoning is stuck to that. When did you start doing your sauces, Phil? And your rubs? <laughs> <laughs> you got all that coming up really into good. you. <laughs> I started probably about five years ago. I started doing the sauces. Then just the rubs I started doing probably within the last year and a half, two years. And the rubs have been doing really well. That's Everybody likes a good rub. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, man. So what we're going to do is we got these cooking. we got them flipped over. I'm going to move them to the side here for a minute. And they'll continue to cook because the disc on the outside stays pretty warm there. So we'll move them out there. They're about medium rare right now. Once they move out to the side, that gets about a medium. Nice. Then we'll throw some onions and, and some, some onions. I got mushroom. some Swiss cheese we'll put on I don't there. like cheese. Oh, okay. Okay. One, one, one without cheese. <laughs> one without cheese. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move these to the side. <laughs> okay, what we got now, I got these burgers up, moved up to the side there. They're still about medium, medium rare in there. Can you still little, smell all the spices oh, from the rubs. What we got there, a little bit of oil. We're going to go ahead and Savoya. put a little Savoya in there. That means onion. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to say mushrooms in Spanish. So. Just go with mushrooms. <laughs> with mushrooms. Mushrooms. <laughs> no mushrooms. No yeah, mushrooms. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and cook these. It has a little bit of the oil from the burgers with the seasoning and a little bit of essence and get more, just a lot more flavor inside. The I like peppers. essence. <laughs> and while we're cooking these, Oh man! <laughs> nice. And how long have you been making sliders? I know you've done them. I've done sliders. That's the thing with all the products. You can do beef sliders, you can do pork sliders, chicken sliders, turkey sliders. We've done before. Mm -hmm. We got some burger sliders right now. So we got <laughs> sliders, sliders, sliders. Which is the ones we did for? Uh, remember when we did those two thousand biscuits for the Wild Chicken Federation? And we did the video. Oh, we did the were those, uh, pomegranate. Those pomegranate. Were they sliders? They were sliders. That yeah. was the 
pomegranate. That was a pomegranate turkey yeah, slice. That was a cool video. <laughs> that was a cool order. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we're just gonna get some of these rolls. Are these Hawaiian rolls? No, these are uh, rolls. The rolls. And what we'll do, we can toast these a little bit too. Nice. Get everything nice and toasty. Toast them buns. Toast them buns. <laughs> Hot buns. Uh, so do you throw sauce on these, or do we don't need sauce? No sauce. No sauce. So we just got the bottles here for pretty. Well, since I got the bottles. Feels yeah. traditional. Big the big leg chipotle. Yeah. What do you got here? Hot honey apple. Hot honey apple. You know what? I bugged that too, too. I didn't know it was for a year that you had the hot honey apple out and I didn't even know about it. Well, I still needed it to sell. <laughs> <laughs> what, you think I'm going to eat it though? Yeah. <laughs> so hot honey apple. You got honey apple. That's more big leg chipotle. Anyway, where's the pomegranate? I didn't see a pomegranate. Uh, no, you were holding out on the pomegranate. I don't bring out the pomegranate. Oh man. You want to put a little of that seasoning in there? Just in the pepper? Get a little bit more. The some more black tea? Yeah. I guess. Look at that. Just a little more flavor. There you go. Nice. Man, that yeah. stuff's so good. You can just smell it all. Oh yeah. These peppers getting. This is probably not going to taste very good at all, huh? No, it's not. Really. <laughs> That's why we add cheese to it, make it taste a little better. <laughs> but you know, everybody's been probably drooling on this stuff. Real quick again, how can people find Phil's Gourmet Sauces? And keep in mind, people watching this show all over the world. All over the world. Luckily, so. we have the World Wide Web. Three W's. Three W's. <laughs> right. um, I'm available at Phil'sGourmetSauces.com. All the rubs are there and all the uh, barbecue sauces as well. Uh, I ship bulk. I ship one bottle, you know, whatever you like, I ship. And it's also available. You can catch me through uh, Facebook or there at... Uh, here, locally here at Sprouts in Albuquerque. And Tweeter? And Tweeter. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. This> so <laughs> before we get into this, hit me on a recap real quick. What, how are, so, the, so the audience can get again, how you're making these things quick and easy. Okay, what we did, you know, we initially started with about a pound and a half of, of ground beef, about an 83%, so you still have a little bit of fat. Okay. You can make your patties, put some seasoning on it. A black tie. tie. Black tie seasoning, of course. And then you have your onions and your mushrooms cut. El mushroomes. El mushroomes. <laughs> Once you've moved your patties to the side, put, put your mushrooms and your onions in there. Start toasting your buns. And just let your... Uh, more black tie. A little bit more black tie yeah. in, in the veggies there. And then just let your veggies kind of reduce down and, and caramelize that. Nice. And all we need is some queso. Queso. Okay, now we got these down, reduced down a little bit. They got a little caramelization on them. Caramelized. 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 El mushroomes and cebollas. El mushroomes and the cebollas. We're going to get a little uh, uh, I don't Swiss like, cheese. Don't care for I much cheese. I know you like cheese, but I'm going to put them on slide. <laughs> That's a tease, man. Yeah, it was. So we're folding that up. Can't, will you put this on a burger? You trust me? I kind of. <laughs> I think I can hold out for one. <laughs> Make me work. I was just supposed to sit here and... Hopefully you like Swiss cheese, right? Not at all. You've had a cheese you haven't liked. Um, I really don't think I have, to be honest. Especially that 10-year-old extra, extra sharp cheddar. Sharp. Horrible stuff. That stuff's going to melt quick, too. And you fold cheese well. You're I so talented. I, can, I cut it pretty well, too. You cut it pretty know? well, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That means I have to eat one without cheese. So this is for a double slider. <laughs> okay, so now everything is cooked. You know, the mushrooms and onions are good. Burgers are cooked. Let the uh, cheese melt a little bit, and then we've got the buns toasted, and we're about ready to plate here in a little bit. Damn. Well, how about one of these? Oh, I'll twist my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for that cheese to melt real quick. Mmm. <laughs> Feels gourmet sauce. I guess uh, I guess I'm supposed to wait for the melt. I just can't even wait, huh? <laughs> yeah. I've got patience or beer, one of the two. Uh, nothing like a slider and a beer, right? That's it. It's perfect. <laughs> it's a 
these in there stir, so they are. So you just put that directly over that then? And we'll put that, just the heat from the mushrooms and onions. Probably get a little bit more melt on those. You see those a little bit more melt. <laughs> That's going to be so good. Because you got a lot of juice, you know, in the burger with the cheese and then the onions and the mushrooms. You don't really have to put any condiments, mayo, mustard, ketchup, I mean, if you want you can, but mm -mm. it's going to be mm -mm. pretty juicy. It's almost <laughs> like eating a steak there. I think those look good there. So what we'll do... Look at that. We'll go ahead I'm going to turn off the disc real quick. Turn that off. Get some of these on there. <laughs> You're not going to have any? Uh -uh. <laughs> I'll have half of one. You have half of one? You can have the one without cheese. The one without cheese. <laughs> mm. Okay, right. You're going to top them? Oh, you got to put that on there next. Right. You like onions and Oh, I love them. That's beautiful. Nope, don't have to be too neat on these. I wonder why they call them sliders, sliders? instead of little burgers. I don't know, dude. I guess they're like one bite and they just slide right down. Ah, sometimes a full burger can be a little mushroom. Mm -hmm. yeah. That one's fine. That one's yours. You ever had mushrooms or red wine? No. That's horrible. I would never have them again. Tonight. Just kidding. <laughs> um, so that cheese is getting melted with the mushrooms. Yeah, it is. So Phil's Gourmet Sauce is the Mr. Phil Apodaca. has got the ground beef. The onions, the mushrooms, the black Thai seasoning rub, of course, made by Phil's Gourmet Sauces. Got some Swiss cheese, slider buns. Um, what did I forget? That's it. Cold beer. Cold beer. Nice. I think they're ready. Yeah, I, th I think I'll try one. <laughs> one, more, one, more. You one more for that? <laughs> You're going to. Here for that. So here we go. Phil's Gourmet Sauces, what do you just call them, just uh, black tie sliders? Black tie sliders. Black tie sliders, cooked on the disket, cooking outdoors has never been better. Mm. Oh mm. man. Oh, it's running down. Mm. Good stuff. Disket. 